Hey, man, thank you again for being with us. Happy Friday. The Kingdom Seekers, you can sign up at yourprophecynews.com, yourprophecynews.com. Today is Faith Healing Friday. Friday, we come, we bring words of knowledge, we bring uh, just a declaration of your healing. And I believe today, today you can be healed. Hit the share button. Someone else needs to see this. I believe that's the first place of a, a faith is just saying, I'm, hey, look, when you hit the share button, you're saying to other people, I believe in divine healing. You're saying to other people, I believe my God still heals. And when you hit the share button, you're helping us reach other people. To someone that may be dying of cancer today, someone that may be dying from different diseases today that you can be part of their healing by simply hitting the share button. I believe that. I believe it. Amen. So hit the share button and let's go into our ministry today. Father God, I thank you for everyone watching this. We thank you, God, that as the woman said, if I may touch but the hem of his garment, I will be healed. We thank you that your healing virtue is going to flow today into people's lives. Even people watching this episode, even people, they're saying, yes, I'm a kingdom seeker and I want to be healed today. I know that your healing virtue is the same today as it was even with the woman with the issue of blood. Even as it was, hallelujah, the same spirit, the Bible says right here that you, your word says, Father God, your word says the same spirit that raised your son from the dead, lives within us, and brings life to our mortal body. Amen and amen. So I speak life over you watching this today. I command healing into your body today. Wow. And I want you to understand that we have the authority. Today, I want to talk about authority. Today, I want to to share with you about authority as we release authority. See, authority to heal the sick. Jesus said, when you go into a city, Proclaim the kingdom of God is at hand. There was a proclamation. There was a saying. The woman said, if I may touch with the hem of his garment. I am saying what he says, the kingdom of God is at hand. That means it's available. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Amen. So I'm speaking unto you today. If there's anything in your body that needs to be healed, receive your healing. Say, Lord, today I'm touching the hem of your garment. Lord, today I'm receiving the kingdom of God that's with hand. I receive by the authority of the living word of God. Amen. Do you recognize people may hate this Bible? People may try to, oh, they in some places ban this word, but it's still the word of the living God. Do you understand that? And when it says you are healed by his stripes, you are healed, then you are healed. It also says when you go into a city, heal those that are sick. It was command based on the authority. All authority was given to Christ, and Christ gave authority to you and I to speak. I remember praying for the boy with the blind eye, and I was in Greensboro, North Carolina. He was he was blind, and um, I, I began to pray. When I mean I said I pray for him, I began to command healing. I began to pray, and I was corrected. And if those who haven't seen this, go back to what my video is called, um, The Embarrassing Prayer That Healed the blind boy. I think it's the name of it. But I went back and I began to pray over him. Lord, do this. And I was corrected. I was corrected by one of my mentors. He said, no, no, no. Command healing. Command healing. You have authority. Use the authority within you. So and see, there's a difference in that. That's for another lesson, another teaching. But there is power in the authority of God, the authority of his word. Authority is when you know if a policeman pulls you over, says step outside of the car. He's by his word of authority. You listen. Then there's also if you do not listen, they usually have a sidearm. They usually have a stun gun. They have something. They have power to go with it. Okay, there's authority and power. Amen. And so we have authority by the name Jesus Christ. We have the Holy Ghost as the power. Amen. We have angelic, hallelujah, ministry. Uh, we're going to get into all that in another day. But I want today to talk about authority. When a policeman says, do this, you do it. So that's what we're saying right now. So I'm going by the authority given to me as hallelujah, minister of the gospel, as a son of the living God. I'm going to speak into your body and I'm going to say, be healed in Jesus' name. I command sickness to go in Jesus' name. I command tumors to dissolve in Jesus' name. We speak over any spirit of pain, infirmity. We speak over any spirit uh, as unclean or unholy, and we command you by the authority given by the name of Jesus Christ and the blood sacrifice to leave. We command you to leave right now in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of pain, any spirit of infirmity, symptoms dissolve in Jesus' mighty name. 
you know it's called faith healing Friday because I know by faith you are made whole. It's by faith. They say, yes, Lord, I believe your word. Listen, I believe your word. It doesn't mean you have to believe any preacher. You don't have to believe. You don't have to believe me. But you can you believe his word? Can you believe his word? When he said, by his stripes, you are healed. Wound for wound, stripe for stripe. Can you believe you're healed? Hallelujah. I know the authority in the name of Jesus. In fact, you lay your hand on your own body. Any over symptoms, any over, any over, any over, uh, any kind of tumors, lay your hand over and say, I command this to leave by the name of Jesus Christ, the authority of the name. It's the authority of the name. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Guys, I honor you. I believe in you. Do me a favor. Go to the secondadam.com forward slash prayer. Put in your prayer request. Put in your prayer request. I'll go through. I'll read them. I'll pray. I'll release my faith. Amen. I'll let my faith join with your faith. We're going to call things that are not as though they are. We say be healed in Jesus' name. Post your comments below if you have anything you need prayer for. And listen, as you post them below, read the other prayer request. The Bible says, pray ye one for another that your prayers may be answered. Can I get an amen on that? Pray ye one for another that your prayers may be answered. Oh, hallelujah. Guys, I believe in the word of God. I believe in my Jesus. I believe when it says the spirit of the living God. That raised the spirit, the same spirit, the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead lives within you and I, and it brings life to our mortal body. Can I get an amen? Guys, I honor you. I believe in you. Be back here tomorrow. Be back here tomorrow. Kingdom Seekers, we're here seven days a week. Be sure to sign up at yourprophecynews.com. I honor you. Receive your healing today and share your testimony. God bless.